you want to FaceTime me? For what? For what? Why? I'm too sexy for this chain. Too sexy for your game. Too sexy for this fame. Yeah, yeah. I'm too sexy for the trap. Too sexy for that cap. Too sexy for that chap. Yeah. Good afternoon. It's Friday. I'm just picking y'all up, but I ain't just getting up. I've been up since about um, 7.15 a.m. I have my little um, pimple patches on here, here, one here. I have the water slowly running in my bathroom and in the guest bathroom because we're going through a freeze. It's 27 degrees outside right now, and I don't want my pipes to freeze and burst. And the kids are out of school because they canceled classes today for all of Houston because of the freeze. Y'all know we from the South, we Houstonians. That's my washing machine going there if you hear that noise. Uh, 27 degrees to cities on the East Coast, cities up North, ain't nothing. But for us, is no work, no school, okay? So anyway, y'all know I'll be intermittent fasting, so I am just now cooking breakfast for the kiddos. They have to go by my eating schedule. They don't have to. Around like 9 a.m. they said they weren't hungry. Then I asked them again around 11 a.m. They weren't hungry. Now here we are almost 12, 15 and they said they're finally hungry. So they want breakfast food. So mama delivers the breakfast food. Oh, let me show you guys. So they want biscuits. I'm probably gonna eat one biscuit and then some turkey sausage and some fruit. Best sugar-free syrup ever. I have been looking for a really good sugar-free syrup. I have not found a good one until now. This right here, my friends, take a screenshot. It does not taste sugar-free. It don't. It literally tastes like this. This is, this is the fatty goodness that the kids get to eat. The kids get to eat this, and they taste the same. I, this, I think, might taste better. So if you're on low sugar, low calories, low everything, like me, this, okay? So let me get the food prepared. I'll be right back. Okay, so breakfast is done. Can y'all tell whose plate is whose? <laughs> oh, before I forget, these are the uh, nutrition facts on the sugar-free syrup. So y'all can see that. Which one is mine? As compared to regular syrup. That's a huge difference, y'all. Hopefully this is clear on camera. Y'all, I'm back. And if y'all didn't know, if you didn't watch my watch my last vlog, which was, it ended yesterday, and I picked it up today for a new vlog, but I washed my hair, and I just have my hair in, like, twists. So, yeah, that's why I'm looking a little different. Anyways, yeah, it's way later. I've taken a nap. I've done a lot, but then I haven't done a lot because, like I told you guys, it's freezing. The kids are here today. So when you have a day that you spend with loud, rambunctious kids that keep asking to go outside in 20 degree weather, you need to take a break for some wine. So I'm going to show you this wine delivery company that I have been absolutely loving. They are no strangers to my channel. Y'all know I've talked about Bright Cellars wine in the past. So let me show you what I got this month. So guys, this is how your wine comes delivered straight to your front door. What I really love about Bright Cellars is that all you do is take a very easy quiz and it aligns you with different wines that you may have tried before that your palate may like. And it also might toss in a few in there that you haven't tried before. And it's like just getting that experience of trying a new wine, discovering something new that you haven't tried. I think it's pretty awesome. You know, I ask you guys about wine all the time, like what's a good one to try, what's not a good one. So with the Bright Cellars, it's just that simple. Take the quiz, they send it to your front door, and you're able to just have a wine tasting party just out to yourself with your family, with your friends. If you're having a gathering, it's just real awesome, real convenient. So this is how your wines come packaged. Everything is protected. Each wine comes in its own individual section. So you don't have to worry about anything being broken, cracked, damaged. That's not gonna happen with the way that they package these. Also, each package comes with wine education cards. 
So each card just tells you a little bit about your wine that you got. So these are my cards and it literally tells me the ingredients of each one. It tells you where it originated from. It also tells you what temperature your wine is best served. So these are pretty cool because no wine is the same. All wines are different. So to get a little knowledge about what you're getting in your box, I think that's pretty awesome. So let's see what your girl got. Okay, so this is the first one. This one is called Hold Fast Avast Wines, a 2020 Sauvignon Blanc. That is how that one looks. Next, I got Hertz and Heim, a 2020 Gruel. I'm gonna mess this name up so bad. Gruner Veltliner. Hopefully I didn't butcher that name too bad. All right, now we have Western Cape Indula Shenick Blanc. I like the way this bottle looks. Then we have Paper Tiger. Okay, this one's called Vanishing Act. It's a red blend. This is a pretty bottle too. And lastly, we have Well Fleet. All right, so I'm gonna taste a few of these. I'm excited. Yes. All right, so I have my wine glass. This is the first wine that I'm starting out with. This is Paper Tiger. It is a South African Western Cape drink. It is a Pinotage, a cross between Pinot Noir and Sinat. Sinsat. I guess that's how you say it. This wine shows red fruit notes of cherry, raspberry, alongside aromas of leather and oak. Okay, let's get up, let's try her. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me rinse my cup out and get to the next one. Okay, so the next one we are trying is Vanishing Act. Here's the card for it. It says Columbia Valley Red Blend. This robust red blend from Washington's Columbia Valley is rich in flavor with the notes of dark berries, mocha, and baking spice, leading on both the nose and the palate. It's medium bodied, 13.7% alcohol. This one smells good. Oh, I smell the chocolate. Mmm. Okay, this one is really good. And I do have some exciting news for my viewers today. Y'all know, I let us say y'all some coin. So Bright Sellers is giving my viewers 50% off their first six bottles of wine. So that makes them only $53. Baby, tell me where you can get six bottles of wine for $53. I'll wait. I'll wait. But yeah, look down below in my description box. I will have a link to their website down below. Do not miss out on this deal, especially in this cold weather. Y'all, treat yourself to some wine. Try some different wines that you normally wouldn't go for. The quiz is just seven questions. It's really easy, and it's going to pair you up with something magnificent like this one here. Y'all want to miss out. And a big shout out to Bright Sellers for sponsoring today's video. We love a good Thick Bestie sponsor just because our sponsors are what help keep this channel going. I love bringing you new stuff. I love bringing you new stuff that's on a discount. And if I love it, I know you guys are going to love it too. And like I said, don't skip the description box. We're going to save some money over here and I'm going to be right back. Y'all, it's 6.15 and I'm just realizing all I've eaten today was just that little bit of breakfast at 12 o'clock. So I just made me a turkey salad on top of a rice cake. So good. Mmm. Mmm. This is such a good, like, this is like the perfect snack. For dinner, I think I'm gonna sear some cod with some cauliflower rice. I'm thinking that's in two hours from now. Oh. Mm. Also, tuna, turkey salad, whatever. If you don't want to eat it with crackers and you don't want to eat it with a rice cake, a rice cake, try it with seaweed. Wrap it inside of seaweed. It's good. It's real good. I might pull my hair up in a big puff. Y'all wanna see that? I think I'm gonna do that. I have to drop the kids off in a few hours. 
less than about two hours after we eat dinner. And um, I think I'm gonna put my hair back in a puff because this forehead is dropping. Child, this forehead is drop. Oh, look at that. Baby, I'm looking like Sanford and Son. Ooh. Back to the cutoff. Yo, showing my forehead on camera is like so weird to me. Like so foreign. Like, so if y'all see me like this, y'all gonna get tired of me talking about my forehead. I, I just, y'all are. I just, I don't show my forehead on camera. I don't mind showing my natural hair, but I need some baby hairs to camouflage this dome head, okay? I'm just saying, I'm gonna pull it up in a, in a little curly ponytail in a minute, and that's how we are gonna be rocking for the rest of the video. But anyway, I got a package. Um, Lil Baby's first baby mama, what's her name? Jada is the second baby mama. The first baby mama, I can't think of her name, but she's gorgeous. She's beautiful. She seems so sweet. I follow her. How do I not know? Is her name Aisha? I feel like her name is Aisha. But anyway, she posted a picture in a jacket. And as soon as she posted it, I went to Google looking for it and I bought it that same day. So here we are with my purchase. <laughs> Oh Lord. Okay, sex. This is very like, where's the, there's no plastic wrap, no packaging, no nothing. Y'all just throw my shit in the box. I don't like that. That's how they ship my Balenciaga bag too. They literally ship my Balenciaga bag in a brown shipping box, just in a dust bag. I'm like, okay, y'all couldn't put an extra plastic around it or something to protect it. Like, we're spending all this money. Like, Saks, you supposed to be the cream of the crop with these classy department stores and y'all just sending y'all stuff in just a box like this? Even Fashion Nova puts their stuff in individual baggies. But anyway, I digress. Whew, this jacket was expensive. So it is a denim Givenchy cropped jacket and it looks kind of big. I might need to exchange this for a medium. So it's cropped. It says Givenchy Avenue George V Paris 75008. It has the Givenchy logo here, the little Givenchy logo there. The button says Givenchy. This is cute. I'm I'm probably gonna wear this how she wore it. Where's my where my phone at? Let me show y'all. Cause I'm telling you, as soon as she posted the picture, I'm like, bitch, I need it. So her name on IG is Little Miss Golden. If you guys want to follow her, how freaking cute is she? I'm a rocket just like this with some light denim and some black boots. Yes, baby mama's fine. And look at her. The very last slide is lyrics to a little baby song. It's a little messy if you ask me. Okay, let me try this on. Do I have a shirt underneath my hoodie? Yes, I do. Okay. I ain't trying to flash y'all on this good old Friday afternoon. Well, evening is 6.30. Whew. Oh, and this shirt I bought from a Instagram activist. His name is Lavish Mac, L-A-V-I-S-H-M-A-C-K. He sells these t-shirts that say police the police. I love what he stands for. I really enjoy his Instagram. So if you want to support a black business and you down for the cause, police the police, because they not above the law, you know, support. The shirt was like $20. This is my first designer jacket, and this thing is thick. I can hardly unbutton it. Yeah, dog. I got to be able to swing if I need to. If I'm like, then it's a no. I still might need a medium, though. Okay, so this is how the jacket looks. Excuse what I have on. I just tied my t-shirt up because I would definitely be wearing it with the crop shirt. So anyway, this is a size large. I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. Um, even though it's 
It fits. It's not too big. It fits. I usually like my crop jackets a little bit more snug, but it's good. This is how the back looks. That is cute, bitch. Girl, I done stole your whole style. Because I tell, tell you I'm going to rock it just how you rocked it. I might even get the little braids in the back like how you had them. So, mm-hmm. Very expensive. I've never spent this much money on a crop jacket. On a jacket, period. But I think it's worth it. This is something that's not going to go out of style. I could wear this three, four years from now. You know? So. All right. Yes, I'll leave the link down below if you gals are interested. This is, y'all see the short piece of hair? This is from a time that I cut my hair. <laughs> I was trying to comb it. I couldn't comb through it. Cause I had either either left my, I probably just left my hair braided underneath wigs for too long. And then y'all know how that goes when you do that. Don't recommend at all. But I probably just, yeah. Anyways, let me get to playing with this head. I'll be back. I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be back looking cute. Give, give me a few minutes. I'm doing my little baby hairs. Like I said, this is where my wigs be sitting. I think that's why I have this dark line right here. My wigs be right here. Yep. finished look of my hair I did some little finger coils at the ear some little basic baby hairs and I did nothing to my ponytail or my puff whatever you want to call it I literally just brushed my edges pulled it up kind of stretched it out a little bit and that's it <laughs> now if I go through it with product and actually go through and coil each piece with my finger, it'll look really pretty and defined when it dries, but I'm I'm not doing anything. I literally just pulled my hair back because I'm gonna be on camera. I have no plans for tonight at all. The kids are going to their dad's house. I'm gonna be dropping them off in about an hour, but that's it. So yeah, this is what you get. Now, if I was to go out, if I was to make some plans, I would actually probably pull this back and probably put it in a low bun and then tie like a scarf around my edges just to make everything like real sleek like. Because if you can see like my baby hairs are kind of like curling up because I am natural. If you watched the video before this, you will see that I have been natural for 10 years. I have not put a relaxer on my hair. I have not put any hair dye in my hair. Um, I want to say that I may have put a rinse in my hair about maybe seven years ago, but that's it. So I am 100% natural. I do not have any gray hairs. Last time Jennifer braided my hair, she talking about, I see one, I see one gray strand right in the back in the middle. She ain't pull it out and show me. So I don't believe that is there. I literally do not have gray hair. The last time my sister did my hair, which was about two years ago, she was like, you don't have no, you don't have any gray. It's <laughs> like, you don't. So you might see like a little bit of white up here that's product, but I literally looked through my hair when I washed it. Every single time I wash it, I don't have any gray. So next time Jennifer braids my hair, hunger, I'm gonna need you to um, pull that, that white hair out that you, that wisdom that you said that you saw in my hair because I, I need you to prove it to me because yes, you can be 40 and not have grays. Yes, you can. I'm proof of that. So anyway, yeah. Um, now I'm back looking like a little kid. <laughs> it's all good though. Let me, um, y'all know I smell everything. I'm weird. Even though I've been using this for the longest, I still smell it. I don't know. I'm weird about scents. Like I, everything gotta smell good. To like everything just has to smell good. My house, my body, my nigga, my kids. Like I'm just very big about smelling good. My car smells amazing. 
my car smells great. I keep I keep air fresheners in my car. I change out my air fresheners every single week. Y'all know I change my sheets every single week. Like I'm just really big on smell. Ladies, embrace your, your natural hair. Embrace it. I don't want to go through everything that I said in my last video when I um, washed my hair. You guys go back and watch that one if you haven't yet. But embrace your natural hair. Everybody has good hair. I don't care if you're in the 1A, B, C family or if you're a 4B, a 4C. I, I consider myself a 4B. Um, so I always say I have good hair. Natural hair that you are blessed with, that God lets you grow out of your head head is good hair in my book so yes i will always say i got good hair because this is the hair i was born with and i love it and i appreciate it and i did not start loving and appreciating my hair until i stopped fucking it up and when i say fucking it up it's putting a perm on your hair putting heat on your hair daily y'all 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 know y'all know the girls who, who get perms in their hair and their hair be just stuck at their shoulders, it be at their shoulders for literally five, six years. It don't grow because you're putting all that heat in your hair and you're putting all them chemicals in your hair. But then you see a dude or a female grow dreads, they start their dreads off and then in three years, their dreads are to the middle of their back because their hair is natural. I'm just saying, y'all see me do the pull test on my hair. My hair stretched all the way here past my breasts. It looks short, <laughs> but my hair is literally, if I was to press it out, it'd be to the middle of my back. I have not put heat on my hair in years. So many years that I can't remember. Uh, my mom was still alive. My mom's been gone for almost four years now. Um, so I haven't had heat on my hair in maybe five years, between four and five years. So just saying. We've just got to start embracing our hair. And if somebody praises their own hair, they love their own natural hair, doing it in a way without putting other natural heads down. Like, I'm not going to say my 4B hair is better than 4C hair. I ain't going to say that. <laughs> no, because my 4C sisters and brothers, their hair is good. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. We just have to find, we just got to find the right products for our hair. We got to find the right styles for our hair that makes us comfortable with our own natural hair. Our hair is good, like, baby, y'all know I can go on and on and on about hair. But all I'm saying is, love your hair. And if you think your natural hair is good hair, say that shit. Say it. Embrace it. I'm black and I'm proud. I'm black and I'm proud. Happy Black History Month. Y'all look at my little twin. We twin! <laughs> ah. I should put your little curls on the side of your hair. You want your little curls by your ear? Yeah, tomorrow. See, I got my little curls. You should come to our game. You're not going to that game tomorrow at 8 a.m. I mean, our second game. I might come to the second game. I don't know why they they put okay, the kids game at 8 a.m. tomorrow and I told you guys it's a 45 minute drive with no traffic then we're at 8 a.m. the kids have to be there at I think 7 15 and then we're, we're probably gonna have to wake up at 6 that's crazy like their games are usually between 9 30 and 11 yeah it is yeah they out of line okay so I need to eat so y'all not y'all gonna eat at your dad's house Yep, but I like this jacket. Thank you. Because it looks like a cargo jacket. It's just a crop denim jacket. It ain't cargo. It's just crop denim. Very expensive. Very nice. Well, it belongs, Very... It belongs on me. It I'm joking. I'm not... What is give... Wait, I'm going to be careful with this. Givenchy. That's how you pronounce it. Givenchy. Givenchy. Not Givenchy. <laughs> Givenchy. Yeah, 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 I was going to say... I that. done heard. A lot of people call it Givenchy. Yeah, yeah. It ain't... Yeah, I was gonna say, what is this gift? And y'all, I'm really, really about this close, this close to pulling the trigger on the shark boots. I don't know if my calves are too big for them. I don't know if I need to get the short ones. I don't want the short ones. I like the ones that come up to the knee, but they say you can get them stretched out for like a month because I think like I've seen like two or three YouTubers that have gotten them and they get them stretched out and they fit. Oh, That's the empty box. It came in that box. 
Anyway, I'm about to make me a carb-free taco are, bowl. What are shark boots? Some G, there's some Givenchy boots. They're, they're, that's just the name of them. They're called shark boots. I don't know why they're named that. Probably because they're fresh. Ethan! Uh, do you want to eat tacos here? Or are you going to eat at your dad's house? Okay, well, I ain't got to make dinner then. <laughs> Let me just worry about myself. Are you going out then? I'm not going nowhere, girl. It is freezing cold. Because you ate your edges and everything. Because I ain't want to be on camera with my little braids. Yeah, because it helps your hair not get tangled. Yeah. And then okay. Like, you want to like, say something else on camera? I'm like, trying to put the camera down so I can eat. I have 30 minutes before my eating window is done. You want to say something else? Why do you have 30 minutes? Because you have a time limit? Yes, I have a time limit. I can only eat from 12 to 8. I'm wow. on a diet. I'm fasting. <sighs> Anyways, you want to say well, something to the camera? Well, so you can eat from 12 to 8? That's it. Yes. So you have a few more hours. Oh, no, you don't. No, you I don't. have 30 minutes. Oh, I forgot. It's 7.30. Yeah, I, forgot. I just saw the time. So I heard he... Bye. <laughs> okay, real quick dinner. Um, this is probably about half a cup of 99% fat-free ground turkey. This is, boy, just a little bit of cheese. I don't know, it's not measured, I'm not really sure. This is about half a cup of corn. That's a probably a third of the tomato. <clears throat> we have like two scoops of black beans. So that's probably maybe a fourth of a cup of black beans. Um, right here is a little bit of rice and cauliflower rice mix. So I would say this is about a third of a cup of rice mixed with half of a cup of cauliflower rice. And then a scoop of light yogurt. Girl, did I say light yogurt? Light sour cream. And then this is a little bit of taco sauce just on top of the rice cauliflower rice mixture. This is my bowl. This is what I'm going to eat. So this is a taco without the taco shell. Okay. So I have definitely been bamboozled. Why? Listening to the news, they made it seem like everything was closed. Stay off the roads. They were showing like all these different water fountains in Houston that was frozen. And they showed like an 11 car pile up. They had me really thinking like I, we should not leave the house today. I just left the house to take the kids to their dads. Everybody is out. It's a regular Friday night. Like, literally, the line at Whataburger is long. Folks at Wendy's. We had to go to Academy to get Ashton some stuff for basketball. Academy was open. What a no It's my fault, though. It's, it's literally my fault. I should have known this afternoon when I got an email from the gym saying that they were opening up this afternoon and they were going to be open until midnight. I, I, I should have known. And then one of my friends had texted me and said that they had just went grocery shopping. I'm thinking in my head, grocery shopping? You out in this weather? You out in these streets? And this was around like 4 or 5 o'clock. Child, Houston ain't closed. I bet you. I bet. When I call Teddy, he probably getting ready to go out. Let me call him. Let me FaceTime him. FaceTime him like this. What you doing? Shit, out and about. Out and about. I see you. Yeah. What you got on? I just thought on some motherfuckers. I got on a fucking little Kaiser jumper with some goddamn Versace shoes. No, nah, I look nice though from what I can see. I like that color. It's cool. Okay, yeah. that's it's blue cool. and orange. Oh, I like that. Blue and orange and blue, blue, orange and and black. black oh you clean on this cold friday okay the Versace, um, black and orange the Versace, um, uh -huh. um, chain yeah them chain reactions yeah i like that yep teddy ass going out <laughs> he's already out he already out and about <sighs> it's like i kind of want to go do something then I kind of don't I really I'm more towards the don't though yeah I'm more towards towards don't um I don't didn't realize how cold your head gets when you don't have a wig on like I'm my head has been cold <laughs> 
Uh, do I want to go out in this weather? What? How cold is it supposed to get before it's all said and done? Because it's not even 9.30 yet. Let me see. Um, okay, it's supposed to stay. Okay, so it's supposed to warm up by tomorrow. So for the rest of the night, it's supposed to stay between... Oh, excuse me, between 32 and 33. And then tomorrow we're a high of 50. So we're after tomorrow we we back raising up. So which is a good thing. I'll wait. I ain't I don't need to go out. I'ma chill. I'ma go home. I'm gonna edit my last vlog. Or at least start on editing it. And maybe watch a show. See, nights like this, like, I want another glass of wine, and I want to go home and just chill, relax, and wind down. But when you're intermittent fasting, you can't have nothing but water or black coffee. And who's about to drink black coffee at night? Not I. Not me. The hell? Who is this? So, but the sacrifices we make. Summer bodies are made in the winter. That shit is like real. Like for real, for real. Because this is the time that most people want to be lazy. Because it's cold outside. You want to just eat popcorn, eat snacks, and watch TV. Don't want to leave the house. It's just too cold. You want to stay snuggled up in bed and be lazy. But this is like the make or break time. So, And I actually have a few trips coming up. I will let you guys know about that. Um, I actually have a few plane tickets that are already purchased. They are. So I got trips coming up. I will let you guys know when the time is right, where I'm going, what I'm doing, and who I'm doing it with. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, y'all. Uh, I just want to go to Walmart. I was, uh, I've been home all day. I was like, I want to go somewhere and just spend some money. Do I want to go to Walmart? No. No, do I? No. See, no. Do I need to go to Walmart? I feel like I need... I don't need that tonight. No. I was going to buy some more uh, Zero Sugar Minimade. I, I don't need that tonight. Like, because I can't drink shit tonight. <sighs> that can wait till tomorrow. Okay, look at me just talking and thinking out loud. Goodbye. So I put my hair in a bun. Does this look better? I know it's not like smooth or whatever because I've had my hoodie on <laughs> for like two hours. But does the bun look better than the puff? I'm going to say the bun looks better than the puff. And my friend is asking me to FaceTime. And I'm like, nigga, no. What? FaceTime? My face ain't ready for FaceTime. I don't look bad, but... <laughs> I mean, I guess I look all right. I need to like brush my edges a little bit more. But nigga, why you want to FaceTime me? For what? For what? Why? Why do niggas love FaceTime? I just want to know. Like, dudes love FaceTime. Why? Anyways, he going to be waiting for a long time for that FaceTime because I'm about to edit. And I'm watching a really good show on, is this Investigation ID? What is this? This is... What station is... Why does it not say... Oh, a and &E. I'm tripping. This is a and &E. It's called Cold Case Files Love and Hate. So, that's what I'm watching right now. Why do I watch creepy shit when I'm at home by myself? I don't know. <laughs> okay, let me start the editing. This is a... I have an hour and 15 minutes worth of footage. If I was to edit all of this in one sitting, it would probably take me about two and a half hours. So I'm probably just going to dedicate maybe an hour to editing and then say the rest for tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ooh, y'all. I didn't go to bed until about 3.30 in the morning. And Tanya just called waking me up. About 30 minutes ago. Oh, to ask me about wigs. Wigs, y'all. Oh, I'm tired. I think I'm probably going to go back to sleep. Um, Because six hours ain't going to cut it. I just, six hours ain't going to cut it. 
I can be up right now, but it's, um, no. Mm -mm. Kids are still gone. They don't come home till about two o'clock. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go back to sleep. I just checked the weather It's 34 degrees and it's supposed to get up to 44 degrees within the next two to three hours. So I had my water running last night just so y'all know so the pipes won't freeze. So I just cut off. I just cut off both faucets that I had running. Um, it is beautiful outside. When I tell you guys, it is gorgeous. Now it's cold as hell, but that sun is out. Sky is blue. Like this is what you would call like an ideal Saturday. So, um, okay. I was just picking y'all up. Just checking back in, just checking in. But I'm going back to sleep. I'm about to close my eyes for about another hour. So I'm going to catch y'all in a second. Remember on my last vlog when I told you guys, I showed you guys my um, new Rick Owens sneakers. And then I told you guys the same day that I bought those sneakers, I went on Saks and they had a Rick Owens shirt marked from $400 down to $75. So... This is it it just came in see now this is packed nicely you see that it says sex it has the tissue paper with the sticker like this this is how items from sex are supposed to be packaged the uh jacket that i showed you guys yesterday i'm like what the fuck is this who, who packaged this and that one actually costs like money money okay see it's in a it's in a package they got tissue paper in here and everything. See, that whoever packaged this, put some love into it. Now let's just see, is this shirt worth the $75? <laughs> Come on. Okay, I mean, it's cute. This is literally it. <laughs> this is a, a Rick Owens top. It says spring, summer 21, okay. So this is like a year old. The material's amazing. Amazing. It's cute. I mean, it's giving me Zara. It's, it's definitely giving Zara, but I think I got a good deal on it. My first piece of Rick Owens clothing, and I'm probably going to wear it with my sneakers. So y'all check out Saks. Saks be having some good ass deals. I'm, I'm just here to tell you, Saks be having good deals literally when they have their designer events i go on their designer events and then i'll go like to like t-shirts or dresses tops blouses shoes and i'll put that thing in order from cheapest to most expensive and then that's how i shop okay let me see if it's still available it's probably that was too much of a good deal it's probably gone by now or shit, it might be cheaper. I remember when I bought my um, my off-white slides, I bought them, they were $300. I got them on sale for $160 in-store. The next, not week, two weeks later. It was like a week and a half, two weeks later. Anyway, they were down to $55. I was pissed. I probably could have brought them in, but I had already worn them. Um, What am I looking for? Orders. It's still available. It's still available, so I'm gonna link it down below for y'all. Um, they only have medium left. Yep, it says add to bag medium. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want it, a Rick Owens top marked all the way down. I was saying 400, but just to let you guys know, because I want somebody to come back to the comments saying, Gina, that wasn't the price, that wasn't the price. The exact price is 330. With tax, it's gonna be about 350. That's close to 400, anyway. So $330 and the clearance price is $79, okay? I wish they had a percentage on here of how much savings that is. That would be nice, but they don't. This is my first meal of the day, my lunch. It's a um, lettuce wrap meal. So lettuce here, it's one of there. Yeah, so this is what I'm eating. And a lot of times I just eat the tuna by itself. You guys have a H-E-B in your area. Pick these up, because they are fire. They just season them to perfection. Mm. Like this one is really 
barbecue. I'm mm. pushing out black. I'm like, the mm, 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 mm. You guys know my beauty room got a little pink going on. I was like going to focus more on. I want to scream. I. <sighs> Y'all, I found my scale. I found my scale. Why? Why would y'all put my scale right here? Let, let me show you. Let me show you. Do y'all see a scale? Can y'all see a scale? No, you can't, can you? Why would you put my scale behind clothes? Why? Here's my damn scale. Wow. Wow. So I just sent her a text saying, I'm sorry, I, you know, I found the scale. I didn't know it was right there because it's hidden behind clothes. And y'all have been cleaning my house for two years and have never moved my scale. Never. Never. I've been in this house since September. My scale, I just put it back, but my scale always is right there after a cleaning. In my other house, they cleaned that house for the entire time that I lived there. And my scale stayed in the same spot. So I apologize. Like I said, I, I texted her and said, I'm sorry. But it still is like, why did y'all move my scale this time and have never moved it before? And it still matters not. They still broke that thing up there. It's still broken. It has not been repaired yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the, um, the same paneling in my kitchen on the blinds. But I am big enough to say I fucked up. I did. I, I fucked up. But why, why should I have to go searching for my shit? Like, why? Why do I have to look for my scale? Y'all have never moved it before, ever. And put it somewhere where I can readily see it. Y'all have it behind clothes and behind bags. <sighs> anyway, so I'm annoyed. I'm glad that I have my scale back. I'm glad that... Um, I didn't know if they stole it. I didn't know if they broke it and was trying to hide it from me. My mind was just going every which way that you can imagine. And y'all know that when I moved into this house, I had two Louis Vuitton bracelets that I had had for a few years. And that were gifts that were kind of sentimental because they were gifts. Um, and they just vanished up and vanished when I moved into this house. So it made me think like, did they take my Louis Vuitton bracelets? You know, so... I don't think they would just because I don't get that from them. You know, you can't really put nothing past anybody. I know. I just, I don't get that from her. Now her two workers, sometimes she has different workers come. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I found my scale. I apologize. Um, I still want my other shit fixed. And I still don't know if I'm going to use her again. I, I really don't. Because like I said, um, they broke those two panelings this last cleaning. They broke a cup, a glass cup, a few months ago. Ashton had a plaster um, initial figure in her room that she made herself. They broke that and tried to hide the broken pieces. And then at my other house, the only thing that ever happened was they broke the blinds at my other house as well. There's something about them with cleaning blinds. They're too fucking aggressive. So, but anyway, so out of the two years that I've been using them, what's that? Three, four broken things? I don't know. I don't know. I have to think about it. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta sit on this one. What does Ayanla, Ayanla say? You gotta shit in it. Shit in it. Yeah, I got to sit in this one and, and think about it. Do I do I want to continue using the people or do I want to let some new strangers in my house? I don't know. But after that last video when I was telling you guys about it, um, a lot of y'all that are in the Houston area sent me the number to y'all's cleaners. So, I don't know, y'all. But anyway, I have a video uploading and it's taking forever. I always tell y'all this, but this one's like uploading extra slow. I don't know what's going on. This is like slower than normal. I'm excited. I just put in a order at my friend's boutique. 
one thing Gina gonna do, Gina is gonna support a black business. Gina is gonna support her friend's business. If I could spend all this money at Dee Dee's, uh, Balenciaga, Gucci, Givenchy, Saks, all of that, I can definitely support my people. So I bought a jogger sweatsuit. It, my, my thing is, even if I was not to wear the sweatsuit, one, I'm putting money in my friend's pocket. Two, I am putting money in a, into a small black business. Three, if I promote it on, like, like let's say if I put it on and I promote it on Instagram, that might bring her an extra sale in. So, guys, always support your friend's business. Don't ask for nothing for free. Now, if they want to offer you something for free, maybe just say, I want to pay for it. Uh, something, you know, support your people's business. That's, you know, we, we, we have to do that. That's very important. Um, yeah, let me get dressed because I got to get out the house. I got, ugh, getting tongue-tied. I got to get out the house. I'll be right back. Okay, this is what <laughs> we're wearing today. I look like yesterday pretty much. <sighs> Oversized sweatshirts, just, this is just not the look. I, I literally look. Mm -hmm. 15 pounds bigger. This is why I be wearing everything like this. This is why I be wearing everything crop. <laughs> but whatever, it's cold. It's like 45 degrees outside, so. Anyway, my hair looks nicer, cuter. I slicked it. Whatever, okay, let's go. Appointment, but when her brother is gone she want to be all up under me her brother is gone at a friend's house why you want to be all up under me when your brother gone but when your brother here y'all fight like cats and dogs why Guys, don't drink Dasani. One of the ingredients is made by salt. Wait, look. It says salt or sodium? No, it says salt. Oh, it actually says salt? S-A-L-T. Yeah, salt. Dasani is nasty. S-A-L-T right there. Everybody knows Dasani is the worst water brand. Why did your dad buy that? He got it from Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A stopped serving Dasani water. So you are about to... It's not healthy. Mm. I think all water has sodium in it. No way. Salt. Salt. No, it does not. For flavor. No. No? Water doesn't have a flavor. It tastes like air. No, they... No. They... If you read water bottles, it will say sodium added for flavor. Or vitamins for flavor. It, they add something for taste. Even though water Sugar. doesn't have a taste, they do add stuff for taste. Water. Sugar. So check our bottles of water, our Target brand waters that are in the refrigerator. Right See now? They say salt on them. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. I hate the dark, so I don't want to go out there. Girl, there's a light on in the kitchen. No, it's still dark, dark. <laughs> Guys, guess what? We're fixed. The panel is back on. The panel is back on. You see how quick that was? So I found my scale. I texted her, said, I'm sorry. You know, the scale was here the whole time. I just didn't see it. And within just a few hours, she sent somebody to fix it. And it was, it's fixed within, he was in and out in less than 10 minutes. So I posed the question to you guys, because everybody said, they're done, 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 new company. What do you guys think I should do? My scale wasn't broken or stolen. Yes, the panels were broken, but she sent somebody to fix them right away. Um, and, and just scratch what I said about the, um, that possibly she took the bracelets. I, now that I have actually thought about it, those bracelets, were missing before she even did the first cleaning in this house. I realized those bracelets were missing like the second day I was in this house, second or third day I was in this house. She didn't come clean until like two weeks later. So, um, she did not take my bracelets. That, that's just a fact. <laughs> so I honestly, 
I think what happened to my bracelets, I used to save all of my luxury um, purse boxes and shoe boxes. And I remember when I was cleaning out my old closet, putting those bracelets in one of those luxury shoe boxes because I kept a couple out of like all the ones that I had. I was like, okay, I'm gonna keep like five or six of them just in case if I ever wanna resell, you know, these are like, I would like to keep these boxes. So I remember putting them in one of the boxes. I think I accidentally threw that box away. That is what I think happened. I gave Jennifer a few boxes and then I threw the other ones away. I know Jennifer didn't get them. I know Jennifer, if she, if she would have opened up one of those boxes and seen my bracelets in it, she would have given them back. So that's not even an option. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I threw those away. I really, I really, really, really think I did. I just don't know how, but I think I'm thinking that's what happened. So anyway, so you guys let me know what you think. Should I continue using her? Should I give another company a chance? Another company a, a first chance? Or I don't know. But anyway, it's almost time for me to eat my last meal. So yes, we got to pick up Ethan. He's at his friend's house. Right I'm watching now. Aaliyah J. Shit is loud. Really Good lord. Person, you know, like, Why you gonna tell me my TV was so loud, Ashton? Because I'm an airport. And you don't like me to interrupt y'all during your yacht time. Ooh. Good point. Wait, wait. Oh, girl. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, girl. Okay, dinner is done. We got some cod, we got some fried cauliflower rice, and a small helping of corn. So that's dinner. The kiddos, they have Mickey D's.